Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Let's solve on this. We define the particular solution. Please note, till now we have been finding general solution. Now we are told to find a particular solution for this differential equation. Please pay attention here. Again here dy by dx, we have a lot of term in terms of x, x only, right? So we can say that this guy is nothing but dy is nothing but 2x squared plus x by x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 dx. Correct. And let's integrate both sides. Now to integrate this both side, we have to use this uh, formula here because this guy, you know that x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, I can write as x plus 1 into x squared plus 1. Correct. So this 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 integration is a challenge here x plus 1 into x squared plus 1 dx. And this we know that we we'll write something in this fashion a by x plus 1 plus b x plus c by x squared plus 1 dx. So if you are having difficulty in understanding this what I am doing please watch my integral chapter where we have explained how why we are using this. This is how we break this and then we solve this to get the value of a, b and c. If you solve this we will get a is equal to 1 by 2, b is equal to 3 by 2 and c is equal to minus 1 by 2. I won't solve this for you now because I have done a couple of examples in the integral chapter. We can use that. So with this if you solve actually this becomes 1 by 2 into 1 by x plus 1 plus 3 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 whole thing divided by x square plus 1 dx. Okay. So if you solve this you will get something like this 1 by 2 log of x plus 1 plus 3 by 2 this becomes x by x square plus 1. If you solve this, again you will get 3 by 4 actually. Log of x square plus 1. And you will get minus 1 by 2. This becomes tan inverse x plus. That is what you get. So, this solving this I am not uh, paying attention here because we know how to do this. Now, the trick here is this is a constant here. So, it is a general solution. But I want a particular solution. For this, I have been told that y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0. So let's put y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. 1 by 2 log x is equal to 0, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 3 by 4 log 0 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 times inverse 0 plus c. With this, this becomes 0, this becomes 0, this becomes 0, or I get c is equal to 1. So in this solution, it's the heat of c, I'll say 1, and that is my answer. Since there is no constant here, so this is nothing but my particular solution. Please note this is my particular solution. The only extra step involved here is find the value of c. Here we found the value of c to be 1 and we put the value. One more similar example x into x square minus 1 dy by dx equal to 1. You refactor this becomes x into x by x square minus 1 is equal to dy. You can break this further, this becomes dx by x into x plus 1 into x minus 1 equal to dy. To find the integration, you have to just break this into fashion such way that this becomes a by x plus b by x plus 1 plus c by x minus 1, the whole thing dx is equal to integration of dy that is y actually I can see. Correct? So to find the value of a, b and c, so you can solve that, you will get a is equal to minus 1 b is equal to 1 by 2 and c is equal to 1 by 2. That's what you get when you solve the value of a, b and c. If you're having difficulty in finding how to solve this, you can just refer my integral chapter where we explain this. So this becomes actually you can say y becomes if you solve this, this becomes integration of 1 by x plus 1 by 2 into 1 by x plus 1, sorry x minus 1 plus 1 by 2 and by x minus 1. Dx. Correct? All dot dx. So if we solve this, this becomes y becomes minus 
log x plus 1 by 2 log x minus 1 plus 1 by 2 log x plus 1 plus constant I can make it log c why because everything is log term right so what I am getting here is 1 by 2 if I take common I will say multiply 2 by 2 right so this becomes log also I will take this becomes x square in fact x square minus 2 this becomes x square this side this becomes x minus 1 this becomes x plus 1 and this is anyway I will multiply and divide by 2 so this becomes c square that's what I get y correct now I am told y is equal to 0 when x equal to 0 let's put this value y is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 log of 2 minus 1 is 1 2 plus 1 is 3 2 into 2 is 4 right c square so I get c square is 4 by 3 correct and my final solution was this guy so in this I will put c square is equal to 4 by 3 so my final solution will be y is equal to 1 by 2 log x square minus 1 by x square into c square is 4 by 3 and that is my answer and if you see there is no constant term so it is a particular solution correct so nothing great here also the only thing is extra is we have to find the value of c let's take one example cos dy by dx is equal to a so i can rewrite as dy by dx is equal to cos inverse a so don't get confused here don't tell that it is cos of dy by dx so just it is dy by dx is equal to cos inverse a i got and cos inverse a is some constant actually right so what i get is dy is nothing but cos inverse a dx you integrate both side you get y is equal to cos inverse a, a cos inverse a x plus some constant the question says y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 we put y is equal to 1 x is equal to 0 cos inverse a into 0 plus c you get c is equal to 1 you put c in this equation you get uh, this guy if you see is a what general solution but I am looking for particular solution so I will put c is equal to 1 here so I get y is equal to x cos inverse a plus 1 and that is my particular solution correct it's very simple I just found dy by d is equal to cos inverse a is constant here anyway so I just integrated this both side we got the answer so for the differential equation this xy into dy by dx plus x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2 into y plus 2 we have to find the solution of the curve passing through one common so that means we are looking for a particular solution here that so the question says we have this xy dy by dx is equal to x plus 2 into y plus 2 I have to find the solution so to do this I will rearrange this I get dy into y by y plus 2 is equal to dx into x plus 2 by x correct integrate both side so this is nothing but 1 minus 2y plus 2 correct that's what you get dy you will do 1 plus 2 by x dx so you solve this you get y minus this becomes 2 log of y plus 2 is equal to x plus 2 log x plus some constant that's what you get now you define the value of uh, c you told that 1 comma minus 1 is a solution so y is equal to minus 1 minus minus 2 into log of minus 1 plus 2 is 1 is equal to x is 1 plus 2 into log of 1 plus log 1 is 0 log 1 is 0 you get c as minus 2 so you put c as minus 2 here and that is my solution so this guy becomes a particular solution
करेक्ट लिस्टिक मम्मा एग्जाम्पल so the question says we to find the equation of the curve passing through this point that means again we are looking for a particular solutions given that at any point the product of slope of a tangent that is slope of tangent is d by dx into y is the product of this guy into this guy is equal to x squared this is my equation given and i have been told that passes through 0 comma minus 2 i have to find the equation so very simple here this becomes y dy is equal to x dx integrate this you get y square by 2 is equal to x square by 2 plus i am told that 0 comma minus 2 is a solution so y is equal to minus 2 that is minus 2 square by 2 is equal to x is 0 0 square plus 2 is equal to c or i get c is equal to 2 i'll put the value of c in this equation i get y square by 2 is equal to or minus x square by 2 Minus c that is two is equal to zero. Two I can write four by two. So again this is cancel. I get y square minus x square. That is very simple actually. Just we have this equation, but the value of c to be two here and get the answer. The trick part here was understanding this question says the question says that the slope and y coordinate product is equal to x coordinate. That is the Tricky part in this question. This question says that at any point x y on the curve, the slope of the tangent is twice the slope of tangent is twice slope of the line segment joining this point and that x y. So if let's suppose if my x y is the point and let's suppose this is minus four comma minus three, the slope of this line will be uh, y minus minus three is y plus three. By x minus minus four is x plus four. So this is by slope of this line. The question says the slope of tangent that is dy by dx is twice the slope of this to m, right? What is the value of m? Y plus three by x plus four. This is the tricky part in this question to form this equation. So once you form this equation, the question is simple for you. Correct? The question says the slope of tangent this guy is twice of The slope of line segment joining point this and this. So maybe, maybe let's suppose the slope of that line segment is m, and m is something we have found here. That if x and y be a point and minus four and minus three be a point, the slope of line joining these two points is y plus three by x plus four, and then we got this equation. Once we have this equation, the solving is not difficult. Dy by y plus three is equal to dx by x plus four. You integrate both sides, you get. Log of y plus three is equal to log of x plus four, some constant. We are told that minus two comma one passes through, so let's put the value y is equal to one and x is equal to minus two, right? Plus c. So what do you get? Log four minus log two, right? Minus log two is equal to c. Or C, if you see, sorry, there's a common mistake here. This is two, so two here, two here. So two into log two. Log four minus two into log two is zero. Why? Because two into log two is nothing but log two square. If you see, and log two square is nothing but log four. So log four minus log four is zero. So I get C is equal to zero. So I got this is my answer actually. But in this case, I just put C is equal to zero. So I get log of y plus three is equal to log of x plus four square because it is two. So I'll put it here. You remove log both side, you get y plus three is equal to x plus four square. There is no constant part, so this is a particular solution, and that is my answer. Correct. So nothing great here. The trick part was understanding that. Uh, this is the equation that is dy by dx is equal to two of y plus three by x plus four. That was the tricky part. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.